Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to we are going to learn more about C malloc and free. Okay, we have done the quiz. Ensure to check the video with explanation, and if you check the description, you will see all the all the quiz there. You see that we drop the a, a, a description to explain how the answer came about okay so our first task for this exercise is write a function that creates an array of characters and initialize it with a specific characters right this is the prototype okay we are going to create all the prototypes from the zero to six all the questions is six okay that's seven in number. Then, before then, we read the instruction. The instruction is still the same thing. Remember to create a readme file, right? And also, you can see that you have to still push your your main header, main dot header file, okay? Then um, your C, you must create your C. So what we need here now, the first thing we are going to do here is to create this zero dash main C, okay? That's the file we are supposed to create first. Main dot um, dot zero c. Okay. So now what we are going to do is to start them one after the other. Okay. Now let's take it from the top. So you go to your sandbox before you go there. Let's quickly move. We okay. We are already there. So let me clear my screen so that you can see everything I'm saying. So from here now, what you do first, you just go to your your directory which is the your repository which is the lx dash l then you move you take go to the you, you index the file which is b right okay then we enter straight up so if you have not created the file before let me do one step back if you have not created the file you know how to create the file now you create the file okay let me not go back let's not waste time on that so you create the file then after you create the file the first thing we are going to do is to bring the dot zero dash main first okay no sorry before that let's do the 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 let's let's add the header first because header found before everything so this is the main dot h remember to use the extension dot h okay then when you enter you see this is the title and ensure that all these syntax are there okay this actually this last one ensure that it's there because this is for number six and like that so these are the syntax so make sure that all these syntax are there are, are rightly placed and well typed okay that's it then the next thing you are going to do now let's exit this place this is one the next thing you are going to do is the the uh, your your file, which is this guy here. Okay, the the, the file. And remember, when you are copying your your your. Okay, let me finish that one first. So this is the other guy that you will need. This file here. Okay, copy the file name. This is the file that will answer a question. Okay, now you come v dot the name. You enter. Okay, remember to so if you have created your main header, you will include your main header here. Then this um, the standard library dot h. Okay, then your comment right. Then this is your comment. Okay, then remember to okay. Then you go down. Okay, you can see them. So we can see where this ends, right? This guy ends here, okay? Let's put this guy somewhere. So you can see that this guy ends where, and see, ensure that you don't do type, there's no typo, okay? I can, so you can, when, you, when for example, now if you want to, when you see with text like this, maybe you want to copy, you want to paste it. So before, instead of type, um, what you need to do, is to before you paste it anything on your v editor okay before you paste anything on your v editor you press the sh sh your column shift s set path paste okay 
you can see my you can see down here below here okay you can see it here make sure you are in a command mode before you do that then you press enter okay make sure you do you are in command mode before you do that then you press enter okay then when you press enter you press i you see now that this guy has changed in sats has changed to paste right then when you paste anything it will not scatter okay so that's it ensure that you type you 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 do the right thing okay then that's number that's the next thing you do is it okay then the next thing you are going to do now after this you are going to create the zero dash main okay dot c so it's zero dash main dot c that you are going to create um v so this is the code for that ensure that you copy the right thing from the example they gave us this is the code for that so you sorry let me go back so if we start from here okay start from here to this to this place that is what you are going to copy so ensure that you don't have error because if you stop if you don't copy the this sample complete you will have error okay then you copy it then you come here you paste it inside your v editor okay with the same format i've shown you okay let me delete this one and uh, let me go back let me delete it and show you okay so let me delete it uh, zero dash main dot c let's remove it okay so now if i want let's so this is how you do it you copy your you copy this from here ensure that you copy the writing from up here zero dash means c go down down to this place then you copy okay then when you copy you come back you 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 go to you type your v dot zero dash main dot c then you enter it you see now that I'm in command mode. I've not really done anything. I'm still in command mode, right? You can see that I'm still in command mode, right? Then the next thing you are going to do, press set and paste. Then you press enter. When you press enter, you press I key. Now, if I paste it, you see, before you paste, everything is intact. Respecting Betty lining, Betty styling rather. Okay? Now, you can see, that is it. Then you press your shift so i think we know this part so the next thing you are now going to do is to compile how do we now compile it you come you go back to this you copy only from this place from here only from here the jcc compiler to this done you can see it so you copy from this side to compile this is the you are seeing it then you control you copy it then you come back you just paste it there that's it. You see that it compile. Then you press, you type the dot because this is what the file will not turn to. This is the file that becomes A. The name of the file becomes A. So you compile with this other guy. You run with this other guy here. Okay. Okay. You now say dot A. Right. Then you, you can see. So after that, the next step is to add to Git. Remember that before you create this file, before you get to this place, you let me list all the files you see. You can see that you will first of all create your readme file, which is this one. Make sure you create your readme file and add it to Git separately with your own word, with the text, with its own um, description, with its own comment. Then the next thing you are going to do, you are going to commit only the header, which is this file here, main.head right you are going to commit only this guy then the next thing you are going to do now is to commit this the, the zero tax only this guy don't commit all the other files so that your file your work will not be rough okay so now let's go back let me clear my screen so that you understand what i'm saying so the next thing we are going to do now is to add first of all let's add git read let's say read read me md okay, that's the file you are going to add first then when you add it you press add then after add you you commit it 
Okay, you commit. Uh huh. After you commit, you put the commit name that you want any name you want to give. Then after that, you push. Okay. Then the next thing you are going to do, you are going to add the main dot head main dot h file. Then after you add this, you commit it and push it. Okay. Then the next thing you are going to add again is the is this file here the this particular file here okay then you add this you commit it then you you push it okay so that your work will be neat so basically for the tag zero all you need for other tags first of all you create the main dot header file which is this then remember to create your readme file inside the same directory then you create your zero dash main c which is the first then for texting then this is your main as, as a answer file which is this one so those are the four things then when you do that you commit all then you check your answer you will see that your answer will be correct okay the answer will be correct okay so let me your answer will be correct okay so now let us go back um i think that will be that for now so ensure that you get the explanation very well and if you have any question you can drop me a message on whatsapp or um on um, on the uh, uh, on the comment section there ensure to like every video so that this video can be also recommended to other fellow students and also it will encourage us to get more content out there okay thank you